Hey there, econ students and teachers. In this video, we're gonna be looking at how changes in demand and supply for a particular good can affect the market equilibrium, including the price and the quantity demanded and supplied in the market. Now, when there are shifts in both demand and supply, we're gonna see a different result than when there is a shift in either demand or supply. And that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and head over to econclassroom.com for more great resources for economic students and teachers. All right, for our last two examples here, we're gonna talk about a couple scenarios in which there is an indeterminate change in either the price or the quantity. So what could result in a situation in which the quantity increases in the market, but the change in the price is indeterminate? In other words, we're not always gonna be able to tell how the price is affected. In order for this to occur, we have to have a situation in which both the supply and the demand for the good change. So let's draw a situation in which the quantity definitely increases to QE1, but there's no change in the price. So the PE1 remains roughly where it was at the original equilibrium. So we continue our dotted line over above the new equilibrium quantity. And the only thing that could really cause this to happen is a situation in which demand increases to D1 and supply also increases to S1. So we're now in a situation in which the increase in quantity is clear. I didn't draw that all that well, so we should have an intersection right here. Actually, our quantity is going to be over here a little bit. Quantity increases to QE1, but the change in the price is indeterminate. If both demand and supply increase, then there will definitely be an increase in the equilibrium quantity, but the change in the price is unclear. It depends on how much we increase the demand or supply. As you can see, if demand had increased by more than supply, let's say out to D2, then we would clearly have an increase in both the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. But if the magnitude of the demand and supply increases are roughly similar, then we'll be in a situation in which it's clear that the quantity increases, but it's not so clear how the price is affected. Likewise, we may find ourselves in a situation in which the price will clearly increase, put a new price here of PE1, but it will not be clear how the quantity changes. So we might be in a situation where the new quantity is roughly the same as the original quantity. In order for this to occur, we must have a higher price, but the same quantity. And this would be the result of a situation in which both supply decreased, say to S1, and demand increased to D1. In this situation, it's clear that the price would be driven up. Equilibrium price is definitely going to rise. If it doesn't, we'll have a severe shortage in this market, in which the quantity supplied is much lower than the quantity demanded. If both demand increase and supply decrease, and there's no change in price, then we would have a very large shortage. So the price is certainly going to rise. As it does so, the quantity supplied increases and the quantity demanded decreases until we achieve a new equilibrium at a higher price. But what is the impact on quantity? It's not totally clear. Once again, it depends on the magnitude of the shifts. If supply had decreased to S2 instead of just S1, then the price would rise even more, naturally, call that PE2, and the quantity would have fallen to QE2. But if the changes in demand and supply are roughly of the same magnitude, then the one thing we know for certain is that the price will rise when supply decreases and demand increases, but the change in quantity will be indeterminate. Now you can also imagine a scenario in which there is definitely going to be a decrease in quantity, but the change in price will be indeterminate. If demand were to decrease at the same time that supply decreased, then the equilibrium quantity would definitely decrease, but there would be an indeterminate change in price. Likewise, you could imagine a scenario in which there is definitely a decrease in price, but the change in quantity will be indeterminate. If supply were to increase at the same time that demand decreased, then we would definitely see the equilibrium price fall, but the change in quantity would depend on the magnitude of the changes in demand and supply. So this is a term you need to be familiar with. When the change in price or quantity is indeterminate in a market, it's the result of a simultaneous shift in both demand and supply in which it is clear that either the quantity will change or the price will change, but whether the other one changes depends on the magnitude of the shift in demand and supply. So in this video, we went through several different scenarios in which the equilibrium in a market changes. We talked about how changes in demand or supply can create temporary shortages or surpluses, but through 
the price mechanism, that's the term we really use for how markets allocate resources, the price mechanism, resources will be reallocated, so we can say resources are reallocated as price adjusts adjusts to any changes any changes in demand or or supply price mechanism this is the system that allocates resources in a market economy in the short run following a change in demand or supply it might be expected that shortages or surpluses of the good in question emerge but once the price adjusts to the new level of demand or supply signals will be sent to producers and consumers to either increase the amount that they produce decrease the amount that they produce or increase or decrease the amount that they actually consume of the good and once these signals have been sent a new equilibrium should emerge in the market at which the quantities demanded equal the quantities supplied mm -hmm.